Hey guys, welcome to .NET Crunch and this is the next video of our TypeScript series. Let's open up Visual Studio Code and we will be demonstrating today the use of uh, variables, declaring a variables and the data type in TypeScript. We'll be seeing them. Yesterday we have already seen, like in the previous video we have already seen uh, running a first TypeScript program. So I'm just letting you know what we will be seeing in this video that is data types in TypeScript and we'll also look at how we can declare variables in TypeScript. Okay, so this is how you can comment in TypeScript. It's similar to C sharp. Okay, so we can define a variable using let keyword. So I'm just defining let student ID equal to 10 and also we can use var keyword. So I'll be defining var employee ID. So this is another way of declaring a variable and assigning a value to it. Also, we can use const keyword. So to assigning a value to the constants, we can use const keyword. So but the, the, uh, the catch is for const keyword you need to assign a value when you declare them so let me uh, make uh, let me define the difference between uh, let var and const keyword for you guys so basically let is a, a local scope variable uh, what it means is uh, whenever you want to use a variable inside a for loop or within a function body you can go with a let keyword because the scope will be limited to local where is same as you declare it in a javascript it's a it's a global level scope variable declaration and constant as i already told you it is used when we want to use some constant value throughout the program and constant variables needs to be initialized at the time of declaration if I don't give it a value and I just declare it it won't allow me to do that okay and if I do uh, that for the let uh, variable it is allowed so it is allowed unassigned right so let's check it with the help of one function I'll declare a function name add wherein I will be adding two numbers let's say x and y it's the same way how we declare the function in a javascript okay and what I'll do is I'll just return x plus y and now in order to call this function I'll define one local variable with let c is equals to uh, I'll say it z equals to add function call and I'll pass the parameters as 10 and 20 so it should give me 30 and I'll be logging that in a console okay so that's how we do in JavaScript also sorry I used the variable called z so this should this should give me the addition of these two numbers 10 and 20 and that's 30 okay let's say uh, let me save this file now I'll demonstrate you the use of let keyword so let z equals to 30 uh, I'll say 20 so the let uh, we have the same name same variable name but this is only uh, the scope of this variable is only limited in this function within this function over here it is different so that that difference I wanted you to uh, know we can use let for this purpose when when we want to set the sp scope uh, of a variable locally right so we can use them like this now let's say I'll modify this and put it Z so it should give me 10 plus 20 plus 20 so let's print this uh, I'll save this file 
notice one thing here in the main.js from my previous video if you are aware we had uh, run our first program so it's a file from that same uh, video I have been modifying that same file so once I'll be compiling this file it it would it would result it into a respective JS code right as we already know TypeScript code is transpiled into JavaScript right so just running it uh, compiling the file tsc main dot ts it's it is giving me error yeah because I haven't used it I think and in if you see uh, the dot js file everything is declared as a var data type because JavaScript doesn't have those let and constant unless it is a ES6 so plain JavaScript vanilla JavaScript doesn't support those right so the file is transpiled I just want to check why it is giving me error uh, it the error says cannot redeclare block sport scoped variable student ID so guys it is basically um, yeah I got it uh, it is because like we are using their two files and the code is converted into JavaScript so basically the file is being there are two ways like uh, the file can be uh, we can write a code in a global scope or maybe we can declare uh, uh, limit it to a module scope so if we if we def like in C sharp if we define some class so within class we use some variables and outside of a class we also use some variables so there is a difference right so similarly the uh, the thing is uh, if we declare here uh, student ID it is it is interpreted I would say yeah when the language gets transpiled it is assumed as var, var student ID which is similar to this right so it creates a conflict because we have already defined the same variable and in the in the in the same script because this everything is evaluated as a single file at the global level so so there is a this mismatch so what we can do is we can include a export statement a blank export statement on the top of the file so that stalls our issue so now the JavaScript file this file uh, takes this as an different module so now we, we got rid of those errors so let's again uh, in the terminal let's again compile it and after compiling let's run it in fact we need to run this file so node main dot js is not compulsion so we got hello world welcome to dot net crunch which was our previous code console log and the result which we got is 50 from the add function so that's that's what regarding the data declaring the variables in typescript so basically to recap we can declare variables using let where and const keywords hope you guys understood this and we will also in, in the next video we will cover uh, data types because uh, the video is already uh, a bit lengthy so we will cover it in the next video thank you guys and please subscribe to uh, our channel and if you like the video please share it with your friends Thank you. Have a good day.